What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I want to discuss with y'all this uh, interesting topic that I had seen um, regarding animal mutations. And um, the reason I'm even bringing this topic up is because as I was reading the, uh, the article, um, I seen a little bit of important information that I should just share with y'all um, regarding animal mutation. And um, the thing is, uh, when it comes to this specific type of information, these animals will be used to help capture people, you know, in the near future, um, such as dogs and even birds and, and, and things like that. And the reason, um, and I'm going to show y'all the picture in a moment of, regarding uh, one of the animals that I've seen as far as mutations. And I know y'all know that this type of stuff has been going on since the hundreds, hundreds of centuries ago. But it's becoming to be in full effect. It will be in the near future. Reason, reason being is because animals also have been mistreated um, in the past. And not only just that, but it's a lot of rituals and it's a lot of stuff like that that's, that's going on. And, and a lot of these mad scientists are mad because you got, you got humans out here that want to act like animals. So what, what better way than to use animals to catch animals and people that want to act like animals? But let me bring y'all to like prisons real quick. You got a lot of prisons around the world and a lot of those individual, the prison mates, they use animals such as uh, even the birds to transport like messengers or they, you know, drugs. Um, there's all kind of stuff, but history is replaying itself, but it's, 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 it's doing it backwards. And what better way than to use animals to help, you know, carry on Satan's plans, evil demise for the world. It's perfect. In fact, uh, this picture that I want to show y'all regarding um, this dog that you see right here. If you see how detailed his features are um, and his leg, see how big his legs is? I think they call this dog Margaret. But this is just a outline of what is taking place in, inside these uh, science labs. You see that? That's no regular dog right there. Nope. No one would uh, dare try to harm that dog. But in the article, as I was reading the article, it was saying that the government will use these type, like dogs, to help capture uh, people, you know. And I, I feel like they're also going to take it steps further, um, such as birds and, and, and et cetera. And if y'all haven't noticed, like, God has been showing his warning signs um, from climate change, from the anger of people, uh, from the corrupted system, and he's even using animals. That's why animals are becoming more bold. They're becoming, like, um, that's why y'all see, like, bears and stuff like that. They're taking walks in parks going into people's pools, uh, just the animals is becoming more bold. And, and the reason being is because God always makes his first moves. Um, and then he allow, you know, whatever else to happen, happen. The thing is, there's a lot of research being, being done on animals, such as dogs, cats, uh, you name it, they doing research on it. And y'all heard in the past, you've seen mixed breed animals, horses, you know, mixed with cows, uh, cat, dog, you know, it, it goes on and on. But y'all seen 
that in the past. What they want to do now is use them to, you know, carry on the legacy. And they want to make them smarter. For instance, dolphins are one of the most smartest mammals to ever live. That like their brain is, is like 10 brains in one. You know what I mean? And I feel like they are going to, you know, find a way to try to even make these animals that's on land. And y'all seen these movies. Don't take these shows and these messages for, for, for kindness. Stuff like uh what the Planet of the Apes, um, Deep Blue Sea, and and you know, more and more things that was done in the past, but these um and revelations. I know I know that revelations it give us an outline, it give us the blueprint of what's to take place. And a lot of people is already aware that we are um already in the end of days and there's so much things that's going to take place, but a lot of people, they don't want to um, bring up, like, infected birds, you know, uh, infected animals, and just animals with superhuman strength. They, they're not going to, they're not going to tell y'all that in church. They're not going to even really bring that up to the public. You have to do your own research and, and, and things like that, but this is all a part of revelation. This is all a part of what what's to take place and like I say animals is even God God created but people abuse them even when you slaughter an animal to, to you know like chickens birds and stuff like that the way they slaughter them it is not even called for if you're gonna kill something you kill it but these people uh, they get they feel, they get a uh, kick out of torture, you know, um, torturing, whether it's animals, humans, whatever it is, they get a kick out of it and they want to see it, uh, they want to see it like, you know, <laughs> fight for his life or whatever, whatever you want to put on it. But, um, you know, I'm doing this, this, uh, this topic once again for a reason. I just want to read a little bit about, I, I guess her name was Margaret. I want to read a little bit about her to y'all and just um show you that this stuff that they are doing and, um, is real. It's going to happen in the near future because people want to act like animals. Um, so they're using, they're going to use these type of breeds to catch humans and it, it says a little something like this if you have if you ever read read recent distillation sci-fi books such as Margaret Atwood's and Craig or Paleo Bacalo something like that and I apologize the dog name isn't Margaret that's the name of a book um, you will know that their common predictions is in the future genetically mutated super animals will run and make day-to-day -day life, life very dangerous for world's remaining humans. Now technology review brings us word that science, scientists in China claim to have used DNA man, manipulation to create a stronger, faster breed of dogs that will ominously be used for various police and military operations. It seems that there, there's a mutation that naturally occurs, myosteen genes, that causes them to gain significant muscle bulk. Researchers in China have figured out how to stimulate this gene mutation in other breeds of dogs and have used it to create beagles that have twice the normal muscle mass. You know, I'm going to stop right there, but um, like I say, this stuff is being done as as I speak and as you are listening to this and even will take place and continue in the near future. Um thing is this is very dangerous. This is very this is 
stuff like this is very dangerous because it can be it, it can get out of your um control you know and we we've heard and we've seen like movies and shows like that to where even though it's just acting but we see the uh how the person create the story and you see whatever they create will come out of control and it's no different from bring y'all to God it's no different from humans the things that we are doing he made a creation and most people rebel you know they curse his name and just all kind of stuff so what God has done is what he have done is everything we've done to him is being done to us through the things that most people is creating and if you're doing it for evil purposes and you feel like you know well, I have a cutoff switch or, you know, we have it down to the teeth. Stuff like that can, can become very dangerous because even on the military field, even if you, 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 uh, you folks uh, feel like that even though y'all created it, that's y'all problem, so y'all going to keep it hidden and things like that. But I know and I have, I, I kind of figure like, because I already know that they kill scientists for information, you know, things like that, mad scientists do that. So I know that this is a worldwide epidemic that um, even scientists have to pay the uh, ultimate price for information. You know, information goes a long ways because people want your information. They want to use it, uh, you know, for evil. So if you know how to make a, um, Whatever animal it is, if you know how to enhance it and it become out of control because God don't want this type of stuff going on anyway. Like, he don't want you to enhance an animal. You know, he created it the way it is for a reason. So, um, and I know in the near future, if, 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 if things um, don't, make a sudden change or you know a sudden twist in the near future then i have a feeling that uh you you would at least see these breeds attacking the people around them so the people that's protecting them which would be the, the government and stuff like that they would at least start showing you documents of that and they'll probably even let a few out you know into the world just to see what they'll do and you know, so you just got to be careful. Don't be surprised if you see a certain animal that just looks like it has all its common sense. You know, because they're taking mammals, DNA, human DNA, and even animals, and then mixing it all together. You, you don't know what you can get with also technology. And you don't know what the outcome you know you very very dangerous and you know God just wanted me to do a topic on it um, so therefore I did that for y'all um, my name is Joshua and oh if y'all uh, can check out my volume 7 mixtape um, I also that's a project that I that I'm doing dedicated 100% for God, so, you know, uh, for Jesus, that is, you know, um, I love the very few people that, that even have anything to, to do with trying to, you know, just, tr you, you're trying, you're not trying to use folks, you're not trying to, um, you know, manipulate things the way, even worse than what it is, that's what the system, a lot of people is following the corrupted system, and, when things hit the fan, they want to say it's no one's fault because it's really no one you can blame. Once you type them things in the computer and you set these laws in the book, it's no one's fault. And to me that, you know, it's self-explanatory. But, um, yeah, check me out, people. Uh, be back in the near future. Um, once again, I'm out. Y'all do y'all research on these mixed breeds. And not just breed, not just animals mixed with animals. I'm talking about mutation. Do your research on mutation animals. So I'm out. I'm gone. Love y'all.
Peace.